Welcome everyone to the second behind the scenes Hackintosh vlog. Exciting times. We are now smack bang in between part two and part three as you guys know. Now I have not released part two yet. It is Monday as of filming. Let me check the time. Uh, it is 10 to 1 in the afternoon of course on Monday. Um, so I'll be releasing the Hackintosh part two tonight. Very excited to release it um, because it's in the same style as part one, but because it's all to do with OS install and software configuration and whatnot, um, it's of course very different in the sense that there wasn't as much to film, so I was filming the screen, so it's about 15 minutes shorter than the other video, and of course a lot of it is me going through uh, going through the configuration because it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because of my RAID 0 setup and stuff, as you guys have already seen. Um, so, I'm going to be intrigued to see what the reception of the video is going to be like. I hope people enjoy it, and it's rare in a build series to do all of the installation and stuff before um, the build itself, but the build isn't coming until part four, as you guys know, and that's what I'm starting on today. Actually, no, I'm, <laughs> I tell a lie. I'm starting on part three. Now, my plan is to hopefully have part three done by Wednesday. It's all done and all filmed because down here, this is a sneak peek. I have a Hackintosh, um, but I'm still using my Mac Pro, and that'll all become clear. I don't want to give away too much in these videos, see, because. I don't want to leave the actual series itself in a state of irrelevance because of something that I've announced in the behind the scenes. Um, but I'll be working on part three today and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of all of the clips and stuff that I have imported ready for part number three. Um, so that that's case modding, of course. Um, I've got a nice lot filmed for that, so that's great. So of course, at the moment, it's private. I'll be unprivating that around 9 p.m. or whatever average time I usually unprivate stuff. Um, but I am now going to launch Final Cut, and we are going to open uh, Part 3 project, which has not been touched yet. I've made the project, but I haven't actually done anything in it. And another thing that I may actually do, what I'm going to do first, actually, to back everything up, is create the event for Part Number 4, and import all of the footage that I have for Part Number 4. Here is the project for Number 3. Um, it was an interesting project to do, kind of tricky for me to edit. Um, I wasn't 100% happy with it, but then after previewing it this morning, I am happy with the way it's turned out. Um, it was initially 10 minutes longer, I made a lot more cuts, I really did. And I do think I should have cut maybe another 10 minutes out of it, but everything that's in part 2 now, as you guys have already seen, um, is in relevance to the next stage, if that makes any sense at all. So I didn't want to be too heavy handed with my cuts. Um, because once it's uploaded to YouTube and people have watched it, then anything that's on the cutting room floor is useless. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get importing and stuff with, uh, with my part number four. So everyone, I'm importing um, all of the clips that I recorded for part three um, the second day. So everything from this point onwards where you see the little front I.O. board. All of this I'm importing. And between that and this, I think we've got well over an hour of footage. And I don't think I'll really be cutting that much up. Um, because it's all good stuff, I think. So I'm expecting this video is going to be sort of minimum 40 minutes long. Um, but all of this section prior, I'm working with my dad. So I wasn't actually talking to the camera. So it'll be majority voiceover work. Um, which will be an interesting perspective for me because I've never done an entire video um, talking in the past tense about something that I'm doing before. You know, I've had snippets in part one and two where I've done that, but part three is going to be really exciting for me. Um, another important note that I I decided to splash out and treat myself, guys. Um, I'm not sure if, if I've complained about my importing speeds before, but I think I did in the last behind the scenes vlog. When I import a lot of footage, I get some tremendous slowdown, and I was using this card reader, um, and this is a USB 2.0 card reader that I've had for years and years that I bought from Maplins, I think I mentioned, but now I'm using a new USB 3.01, of course it's plugged into a 2.0 bus, but it, it obviously maxes out the 2.0 bus because it's quite speedy, and it's got a nice activity LED on it, I can't pick it up because that particular 32GB SD card 
has big problems in card readers um, and if I knock it then it could stop the import from uh, working properly. Um, so yeah, it now imports at a really good pace, but obviously when I've got my Hackintosh up and running, I can actually plug the card reader into USB 3.0, and then I'll have blazing import speeds, which is exactly what I want. Believe it or not, guys, importing is one of the slowest things that um, that I can do now. And it's interesting because um, this camera actually does .mov files, so they're just QuickTime films that you can watch in, in Finder. Whereas my old camcorder, you know, it was AVC HD, so Final Cut had to do a little bit more work when importing. But it's still a similar kind of speed, which is interesting. Um, I thought it'd be quicker, but it's just sort of the copying speeds, really. Um, but yeah, my main goal for today is editing this, uh, this project. I really want to get it nailed, because tomorrow I want to be editing the next part and finishing off and stuff, because I reckon I can get part three uploaded Wednesday and part four uploaded Friday if I really, really work at it. Um, but as you guys can probably tell, it's a lot of, ah, oh, fuck. See, Sh shit in hell, that is a pain in the ass. It's literally just, um, it is literally just stopped importing. That card is dodgy, see guys, it is dodgy. And now Final Cut has spewed out an error. See, that's no good, and now you, you, you can't re-import into that event because it, it throws a fuss. So, yeah, I'm I'm going to put a bit of red tape on that SD card and say um, only use in emergencies because i got two other 32 gig cards and this 8 gig that I use just for vlogging. So, yeah, that's a big shame, big, big shame. So I'm using my MacBook Pro just to copy over the files that it didn't import. As you can see, you get this problem then. Um, and the reason I'm using my MacBook Pro is because the SD card goes into the reader further. I get less trouble importing with it here. Um, I thought my card reader was at fault, and it's one of the reasons why I bought a new one. It was mainly because of the speed, but I thought, ah, maybe it'll stop giving me that stupid uh, disconnecting thing all the time. But it's the actual card, and I don't really understand it, because visually inspecting the SD card, there's nothing wrong. It may be loose inside or something, but I really don't know why it randomly disconnects all the time. Um, if you move it, you know, I can't have music playing while it's imported because my subwoofer shakes the damn SD card and uh, starts messing up. But luckily it copied, this is the one above, uh, this last clip here is the big three gigabyte clip. The rest is just, uh, you know, only 900 megs worth, so that's all good. All right, guys, so I'm sorted for the imports on part number three. Now I'm importing one hour and 11 minutes of build footage for part number four. And as you guys can see, it goes at a fairly decent rate for USB 2.0 and the fact that they're all, you know, 1080p, 30, uh, 30 frames a second. That's, uh, again, one hour and 11 minutes, I believe, so not too bad at all. Like I mentioned, I am all sorted for part number three. There it is. Now, one thing that I do have to keep an eye on, um, if I show you here is my drive usage just because um, I'm getting a little bit full. This is currently my scratch disk, this one media. So what I'll have to do is shift some stuff. Sorry guys, you can't see what the hell I'm pointing at. I'll have to shift some of this stuff onto the two terabyte drive. 41 gigs free, that'll get me um, probably the editing of part three and the editing of part four done, but it probably will fill up by the time I come to import part five material, especially after doing these other videos. So um, I definitely need to worry about that later. Um, but as you guys can see, loads of footage for part three. Really looking forward to that. And the import is going well for part four. All looking great. So getting myself organized. I'm, I always feel a little bit dodgy when I've got footage left on SD cards and I need to um, need to import it. So I always leave them on the SD cards as well until I've actually edited and exported a project and uh, so that it goes gets a chance to go through Time Machine as well so I don't, um, I don't lose any of the footage. But that's one thing I'll need to do now is actually calculate drive management and how, it, how it's gonna work with my new system and setup, how my externals are gonna work, how my archiving is gonna work, and if I need to purchase any more drives. I know I need to purchase an iTunes external hard drive which I will be um, buying really soon. It'll be a two and a half inch drive, um, a portable one so that I can easily take my library wherever I want. But most of the time it'll just be hanging out the back of the Quicksilver, um, which is cool. That'll be my iTunes library, but I'm not sure if I need another big external because I've got that three terabyte there and I've got the two terabyte there. Um, but for archival purposes, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing. 
and whether I'm just going to use actual desktop drives, dock them up and then store them in anti-static away in a cupboard somewhere, really not sure because I've already got a 2 terabyte green drive that is full um, and stored somewhere else, so that is something. Um, but yeah, all of this can be figured out. So just starting editing part number three, guys. I'm going to fiddle around with the intro a tiny little bit, then I'm going to go make myself some food because um, I'm starving. Um, but you know what they say, if you're not that great at something, try and use your other skills to your advantage. And that's what I've been doing a lot with my editing lately. Now, one of my big skills is rhythm, timekeeping, and of course, you know, I'm a drummer, so I really... I really like things that are, you know, in time and on the beat. So with this intro track, apologies for my phone in the background, with this intro track, there's a very unique kick drum pattern to it. So I've put a marker every place where there's a kick drum pattern, and that is where the next clip comes in. This is for the previously section. So this is going to be really exciting um, because I'm going to do a fade in, fade out little section, and hopefully this intro is great. I, I did a fast pace. Uh, nice normal flowing in in beat intro for part one. I did a high speed possible headache inducing intro for part two, which was cool in its own way, but you know not not that impressive. And now this one is going to be a very mellow but very on the beat rhythmic video intro for the previously section. And then I've got a nice bit where it flips around to the other end. Really not sure what I'm going to do for part four and five. Part five actually is going to be a slow intro, sort of like a reflection back on the whole series. Part four is the only place where I'm stuck with the actual build. I'm thinking of going for sort of a regular kind of fast paced intro similar to part one, but um, all of them have similar features. So, you know, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll overlay that previously text over the top and that. But yeah, this is going to look really great, I think, guys. So, everyone, I totally changed the intro, and that other one was just too slow. It wasn't happening at all. Um, so, yeah, I've done, like, a cool little montage thing. It's still nice and in time, but it's not as in-depth as it was going to be. The other one just wasn't catchy enough. You know, it was cool, but it wasn't catchy enough. And uh, it needed a lot of fine-tuning, and I really wanted to get on to editing the actual content. So I managed to whip up this intro really quickly, and I'm quite pleased with it. It's not done yet. I haven't done any titles or anything, but I am pleased with it. Um, and I've also just eaten a nice pepperoni pizza. You can see remains on the plate down there, so that was good. And it is now, let's have a look, a quarter to three. So, got about three hours um, to get some work done, which is cool. Should get the majority of this project done in three hours, which is great. So everyone, I am ten and a half minutes into the video and I'm having a really, really good time editing this. I'm really enjoying myself. It's a great laugh. Um, ten and a half minutes and I'm doing all my voiceovers and stuff on the fly, which is great, basically explaining what's going on. This is going to be a really interesting video for you guys, I think. I know loads of you are looking forward to the case mod stuff. Um, in terms of my clips, I am here at the moment, so you can pretty much... You can pretty much see where ten and a half minutes has got me. So I may be expecting this video to be around half an hour, something like that, just by eyeballing the clips. I could be way off, but I'm surprised that this isn't more than ten minutes because we've actually reached a fairly substantial stage of modification here. If I just show you a little clip, uh, there you go. You can nearly see what's going on there. So you can see motherboard tray all modified and, and all sorts happening up the top there. Um, but yeah, there's still quite a way to go. So this is this is going to be a really interesting video, I think. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself editing this. So everyone, at 22 minutes 53 seconds, I've pretty much reached the end of the bulk of my footage. Um, the rest is just B-roll footage that I'll be putting over my little outro voiceover which is here. Now this is the first ever video that I've done fully 100% voiceover. And you know what? It's not my usual style, but man, I have really enjoyed editing this. It's been absolutely great. I could have a chance to think about everything that I wanted to say, but I was still, you know, not doing millions of takes. It's all nice and natural and whatnot. Um, I've really enjoyed editing part three, probably my favourite part to edit so far. I've got a lot of work left to do on it um, with, you know, audio levels and all that. This is just thrown in. It's nearly six o'clock, so I'll be leaving for work pretty much now. Um, I'm probably signing out for today, if if uh, if I'm honest, guys. Um, but 
just to sign off today by saying this was a brilliant little edit, really enjoyed this. And tomorrow morning, I'll spend the, the morning, um, or tomorrow afternoon, I think I'm in work tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll spend time um, tidying it all up and finishing the project, and then I'll get it uploading overnight tomorrow night. So everything is gonna work out timing-wise perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the way this has turned out. Great, great little video. So, thank you for watching today's Behind the Scenes, and of course, I will be with you for a little bit tomorrow as well. There's a little bit more work we've got to do on this tomorrow, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this vlog. What is up, everyone? It is, let's take a look, 11 minutes past two on the Tuesday, the next day, and man, whoa, you know, it's all been happening, basically. Um, I did a lovely bit of editing yesterday, as you guys know, and I've been so eager to get back into it, so I'm going to boot up my Mac Pro now. Basically, I've been in work all morning, and I've been back now. I've just got changed and um, had some lunch and whatnot, and I'm ready to get going. Um, it's been a bit of a weird day. I nearly got bloody run over this morning. It wasn't my fault. It was just inconvenient, and so that shat me up for a little bit, and then... Um, it's been pretty full on, so yeah, last night was pretty full on as well, interesting time in work um, for a few different reasons, but it's all good and I've just been dying to sit here with my project and edit and uh, and chat to you guys in the vlog. I wish I could have had, you know, a little bit of little bit more free time today um, to do this, but I'm going to open up the project now. I can't actually remember where I got up to um, because I get like that, you know, I get like in the editing flow and then I can't remember where I'm up to, but... Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at where we are now. So everyone, I'm about one minute away from completing the main bulk, the content of this video. I've got the outro voiceover to do and a couple of last notes to talk about and I am done. But then one thing I need to do is go through the entire video, sort out all of the audio levels because I want no audio from the majority of the clips, but I want audio from some of them where there's something substantial happening like drilling or grinding or whatever. Um, and I want to use that audio and I also want to interject some background music here and there in, in certain crucial moments just like I did in the previous part but of course one thing um, that I didn't mention was the fact that I'd made my part 2 live yesterday of course on Monday and just coming down here here it is you can already see that I've managed to hit uh, 2k which is really really good I really hope that I can sustain the views um, throughout this project and just really really keep the views pumping up um, you know what normally happens when you do a series is the first one say if it gets 4,000 views after a week the second part will get 3,000 views the third part will get 2,000 views do you know what I mean it sort of it sort of goes down and down but if you try your hardest to keep the series as interesting as possible which I'm really trying to do this time around this is like nothing I've ever done before um, in terms of trying to keep it interesting and snappy and to grasp people's attention because that's one, been one of my main goals this year on YouTube is to try and keep keep people's attention for longer. Um, so hopefully my views will, will rank up um, and stay pretty consistent. You know, if that levels out after a few days, if part two after a week or so levels out at, say, 4,000 views, I'd really like part the rest, the rest of the parts to be over 3K. Uh, and I'd be really, really happy with that because the hype that I've put behind this series is is crucial. But it's not all about numbers at all. I, I don't just look at numbers. The comments have been absolutely wonderful, guys. The comments on both part one and part two were really, really kind. Loads of people complimenting my editing, which is really nice that you've noticed the difference, guys, because um, obviously the effort that I've put in is, is, you know, I've gone from spending half an hour editing a video to spending a couple of days editing each video um, yes I know they're longer and they're more clips and they're more complicated but still you know that that amount of editing time is rare for me normally I film edit you know film import edit render export compress and upload all in one day um, but these have been days and days in the making so it's it's really kind of cool I've got a lot of comments on part two about why I didn't use a hardware raid um, why I didn't set up a raid in the BIOS. Um, you know, the comments started coming through, and I'd say there's at least 15 comments on there asking me why. So, of course, people are commenting without reading the other comments. I've been asked multiple, multiple times. Um, and I haven't replied to anyone because there's just too many to reply to. So, um, 
what I'll have to do is cover that in a future part, possibly cover it at the end of part four, maybe at the start of part five, because part five will include a sort of miniature Q&A as well. Because part five will be answering loads of people's questions that they have about the Hackintosh, it'll be... Um, It'll, it'll it'll feel a little bit like a Q&A, but also with my own thoughts and stuff and obviously benchmarks and stuff thrown in. A lot of talking in part five. But anyway, I'm editing part three now and you guys have only seen part one and two. So um, I need to focus on the now and get part three out. So I'm going to carry on working on this for a little bit. And it won't be long, guys, before I'll have to stop vlogging, unfortunately, stop chatting to you today. And the, everyone seemed to think that the 720p upload was a good idea so that I could uh, continue to talk to you guys closer up to the upload time, which is really good. So I'll probably stop vlogging vlogging at around four o'clock so that I can get this edited and stuff and uploading by five, half five, and then it'll definitely go up by tonight, uh, depending on length. It might actually be quite long, so I don't want to get too carried away, but at the same time, I want to reach pretty much a final stage of completion with part three so that I can vlog that. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting ahead of myself and getting so excited. The excitement is definitely a massive thing. Well guys, 20 past three and all of the voicing over and everything is done. Just literally now filling in with um, nice glam shots of the Power Mac case. And I'll give you a sneak peek, little couple of sneak peeks, why not? Why the hell not, I'm feeling generous. Couple of sneak peeks in there, wow, cool. Uh, anyway, um, just finishing off with a couple of glam shots of the Mac and just got to fill up this little end bit where I'm ranting on at the end of the video here. Um, in my voiceover, but it's all good. We're looking at about half an hour for a case mod, and considering this is a video um, where I did not film any audio with the camera, and I'm not talking to the camera at all, I'm so pleased with the length and the outcome, and it's not boring in my opinion at all. Um, it's all, you know, constant action, which is great. Um, so really, really pleased with this. Just got to do this now. Once I fill up all this footage, I've still got to go back and do all the audio stuff that I was talking about. But hopefully that won't take too long. It's just about finding appropriate uh, sounds to put into the project um, and then getting them all mixed nicely. But yeah, I'd say maybe we're looking at about half an hour more work, something like that. Maybe that's a bit ambitious, maybe about an hour on this project, we'll see. So everyone, this edit is going really well, but I do need a break on it. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, but I need a rest and I just need to do something else now because I'm starting to really slow down and struggle a little bit. Um, and I haven't even made a start on the audio yet. I've got two minutes of video left to do uh, over this voiceover, which is uh, much less than I had to do earlier. I think I was up to this point or something earlier, but now I'm up to here, which is great. Um, so it's a nice bit of a variety outro as I'm talking. Hopefully not too distracting, but it's all good. So everyone, it is, ooh, crap, nearly, nearly completely uh, fell, like fell or something then, I don't really know. Um, 15.36, it is five to four, so I think um, it would be wise for me. Oh, well, that was really weird. The clip just cut out. I think my SD card was full, so I've deleted a few clips from the other vlog I did. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I need a rest on editing part three now, so I'll resume editing that later on, probably about half past five, um, half past six, seven o'clock, something like that. I'm gonna edit this vlog, have some food, have a chill, watch some YouTube videos, um, try and get the vlog uploading as soon as possible and then it's home stretch and I'll be enjoying the rest of my day. I do have a couple of other little small annoyances. I've got some more projects for me, um, more video projects in the background to do um, client work, not YouTube work. So that is something I've got. I've got a, a video conversion to do, a batch video conversion. That's family videos and I've also got a sort of concert type video to edit. Um, which I have done a rough edit on. I just need to edit it again because there are certain elements in that that they want. Um, but yeah, enough of my rambling, guys. Um, I've just been obsessed with doing the Hackintosh stuff. Really sorry that there's not a bigger variety in videos, but as you guys can imagine, with the amount of effort that I'm putting into these, it's nearly impossible, nearly totally impossible for me to even think about doing anything else. Um, you know, I've already got so many things that I'm trying to cram in and I really want the quality to stay high in terms of the Hackintosh video. So hopefully these vlogs are keeping you ticking over. I think these vlogs are a brilliant way to fill the five videos a week because it's, it's a pro for everyone. They're really easy videos for me to make, but also I love making them because I love sharing things with you guys behind the scenes and you also get to see behind the scenes and early goodness from videos that haven't been uploaded yet. But anyway, 
ranting aside, like I keep saying, massive thank you for watching everyone. And of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, which will be part number three of the Hackintosh build.